In May of 2018, Madame Pelly unleashed her fury in the quiet rural Big Island community of Leilani Estates. Located 25 miles downwind of normal volcanic activity, no one here thought they would ever see a site like this coming down their road. Leilani Estates is located on Hawaii Island in the district of Puna, about 25 miles south of Hilo. Population, 2000. The subdivision was formed in 1964. Here, community pride runs strong and deep. For many, this is the perfect location to raise a family and build a future. Life was good here, and they had no reason to leave. That is, until this happened. Taking a chronological look at this eruption phase, we begin on Wednesday, April 25th. Halima'uma'u Lava Lake produces new molten lava onto the crater floor, covering 90 acres. Saturday, April 28th, scientists begin observing unusual underground tremors. The lava flow field is growing. Numerous outbreaks are seen. The lava lake in the West Pit has raised the 23 feet in one month. Officials put the word out that the possibility of an eruption does exist. Location unknown. Tuesday, May 1st, 4.0 magnitude earthquake recorded offshore from Pu'u'o'o. The collapse of the Pu'u'o'o crater floor has triggered increases in earthquake activity. Residents of Lower Puna asked to remain alert. The outbreak of lava is a possibility. Location unknown. Wednesday, May 2nd, earthquakes continue along the East Rift Zone. The source of the lava is in here at Halima'uma'u Crater. Lava sat in this lake until, without notice, the floor collapsed as seen in this video of an empty pit. Lava is now flowing rapidly downstream and the rising magma is making its way to Lower Puna, which includes Leilani Estates. Residents feeling 10 tremors per hour are preparing for evacuation. An eruption is imminent, however, location unknown. Here is a map of the East Rift Zone. Leilani Estates is located about 25 miles downwind from Kilauea Volcano. Rift zones are areas where the volcano is rifting or splitting apart. The rock in the rift zone has many cracks and is relatively weak, and thus it is the easiest for magma to make its way to the surface. Thursday, May 3rd, cracks appear in the subdivision road. Then, at 5 p.m., an eruption commences in the Leilani Estate subdivision. White, hot vapor and spattering appears. The first fissure resulted in lava fountaining up to 150 feet and spreading over an area 200 yards wide. All residents are required to evacuate, relief shelters open, and informational community meetings are held. Friday, May 4th. Fissure number two opens about 1 a.m. inside a residential driveway, reaching 100 feet into the air. A few hours later, fissure number three opens up. Steam and gases pouring out of the cracks in the road. It forms a thick cloud. Also on Friday, May 4th, 12.30 p.m., the island is rattled by a 6.9 magnitude earthquake. It was centered near the south flank of Kilauea Volcano. It was Hawaii's biggest earthquake since 1975. Saturday, May 5th, activity is increasing and is expected to continue as of 5 p.m., five homes destroyed. The outbreaks you're seeing are called fissures. A fissure vent is only a few meters wide, however, many kilometers long. Spatter cones are common along these curtains of fire. Deep inside the fissure vents are the magma reservoirs. Sunday, May 6th, Two more fissures emerge for a total of nine so far. Six homes destroyed. The aerial footage is dramatic. This once tranquil family residential community where 2,000 residents have built their lives is now being taken over by lava. Sunday, May 6th, 5.30 p.m. Ten fissures have now emerged. 26 homes destroyed. Community support is coming forward to help anyone who needs it. Monday, May 7th, Fissure 10 opens up. Spattering of molten lava reaches skyward. By 11 a.m., 35 structures have been destroyed. 
Here we see a car being swallowed up by the lava. By 6 p.m. May 7th, 12 fissures have opened up, 35 structures destroyed. Here is a before and after. As of Friday, May 11th, 15 fissures have emerged, 117 acres of land are covered by lava, 1,800 people have been displaced, 36 structures destroyed. The name Leilani in Hawaiian means heavenly lei or royal child. It's been said that when the goddess Pele first came to the island, her first stop was in this district. In response to this current activity, tourism officials are assuring travelers that the impact is limited to a remote region on the east side, far away from the rest of the Hawaiian Islands. Hawaii Governor David Ige says, we are allocating all necessary state resources to keep our residents safe we want to reassure everyone that this is limited to a remote region. George Zaghetti, President and CEO of the Hawaii Tourism Authority, says that the safety of residents and visitors is always the tourism industry's top priority. Travelers with a trip already booked to the islands can be put at ease knowing that their vacation experience will be unaffected. Travelers can enjoy their vacation experience in the Hawaiian Islands to the fullest. Here are two phone numbers for you to get the most up-to-date details concerning eruption activity here on the island.